This again, huh? I suppose that's for me. Can you at least not drop it this time? Why can't you be normal? Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> I think he's doing that just to piss me off. Well, it finally arrived, guys. Uh, the Striker DC Gamepad. Now, once again, they've got the, the packaging box just so snug. It's almost as if they have them custom crafted to their liking. Maybe they do. Either way, They've got some quality boxing here too, because you know some people like to keep them in the box, some people like to keep the box for decoration. I've kind of begun to do that a little bit. So, here we go. And, and, tight fit. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Skill. As some of you are like, oh, yeah. He opened a box. So talented. All right, here we go, usual f I was gonna say usual fare, but uh, they've got stickers. <laughs> Retro Fighters FAQ. I could go through the entire FAQ thing, which would probably take up a big chunk of the video, so I'm not gonna do that, but I have to point this one out. Why does the VMU window look different than the original? Why wouldn't it? It's a brand new controller. It's a new design. Why would it look exactly the same as an old controller they're, they're redesigning? That's silly. All right, so anyway, ooh, what is this? Oh, a keychain. I'm getting all sorts of goodies. The destruction manuals gives you all the goods. It even tells you it's got the goods. Anyway, to reveal this bad boy. I was gonna make one of those weird holy choir sounds, but eh, it's been done to death. All right, so let's get this. Ooh, ooh, the plastic is snug fitting. Seriously. The packaging is quality, I, I can definitely tell you that. So, and the build quality. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. They paid attention to all the stuff. Double VMU slots. I was wondering about that. That makes sense. Now the cable faces forward instead of coming out the pooper and looping forward with a little uh, clip. I always found that hilarious. But they were trying out some new designs and I don't know. Never been a fan of the pastel colors of the, uh, of the ABXY, but you know, again, design choice. I wasn't on the design team, so what, what, what does that matter? Got a turbo button. Again, I'll probably never use that. Uh, the everything out. Ooh, it's nice and clicky. Is the originals just as clicky? Ooh. No, it's kind of spongy. But yeah, look at that. Look at the difference. It's lost some weight in comparison. I think the VMU screen is a little wider on this one. Hmm. Oh, that's a snug fit. Not wider, but it's a little bit, mm, ever so slightly. No big deal. There's a bit more stick out, obviously. Compared to the thumbstick of the original, the uh, thumbstick on the Striker DC feels a little bit, mm, how should I put this? Well, lighter. The D-pad feels a lot better. I mean, compared to the, the original one is a lot more sticky outy and kind of small, uh, awkward, but 
The D-pad on the striker, it feels good. I think it feels good. I like it. I like the way it feels. It's got a good feel. Hmm. Interesting. The, the back VMU slot, it just slides in and out just fine. But the forward one has a bit of resistance. It, it's like it got a little bit too snug, but it still works. It's, I'm sure it still works. I don't know, I haven't plugged it in yet, but we can do that. Now, I literally only have one Dreamcast game, so there's not gonna be too much of a test, but I can test it. And I will, so let's get to it. Alrighty, Francois, if you saw my other video on the Brawler 64, then you know the drill. You see the action on the screen, you see me controlling said action in the lower corner, and you see how responsive everything is. Although, uh, my driving skills look a bit lacking. But I swear to God, I'm pretty damn decent driver. In fact, in real life, I'd do a little bit better. I mean, here, I'll prove it to you. Anyway, since this is literally the only Dreamcast game I have available to me right now, this is gonna be it. So we'll go ahead and let this run finish, and then we'll pan back to me to babble more about the controller for a little bit. with this thing. Now coming from a guy who has next to no experience with Dreamcast games, my endorsement may not hold a lot of weight. But that said, I actually enjoyed the experience with, with using this. It feels natural in your hand, like I said with the Brawler 64. It is, a, it is beautiful to look at. The buttons feel good, the, better than some of the buttons on the stock Dreamcast controller, so that's a bonus, and it might actually encourage me to play more Dreamcast games. If only I had some. The contents of this anti-static bag may be just what I need. 